Dogs may be instrumental in helping children with autism interact with people around them. A new study out last week found that dogs can give autistic children unconditional, non-judgmental love and companionship, and that in turn can help them open up to others around them. Giant Steps, a school based in Lyle that works strictly with children and young adults with autism, has been working with therapy dogs for years. And here with us now is Giant Steps president and CEO Bridget O'Connor and the world famous Reggie. <laughs> How are you, Reggie? <laughs> Bridget, thanks for coming in. We're happy to be here. So tell us about, uh, about Reggie and the kind of work he does and how, how, uh, how this sort of developed, the idea that the service dogs like Reggie can be helpful to kids with autism. Well, uh, Reggie was donated to us by a family about uh, almost two years ago and um, spent the first part of his training just being at the school. So getting used to having 156 kids coming around him and, and uh, letting the kids get used to having him there as well. He now spends full-time days uh, from about 9 o'clock in the morning until 3 o'clock in the afternoon out on the floor working with kids in a variety of different settings. So it's wow. sometimes he's um, helping a student get through a session. Um, very calming effect. The kids absolutely love the opportunity to, to take care of Reggie, mm -hmm. uh, to work with him. And the, we found that the service dogs are just a, a remarkable calming influence in the environment. So we're very excited. We just were kind of joking about Reggie. When he goes home at night, he's yeah. a tired dog, right? He is working a with tired the kids. dog. <laughs> he has all the kids' attention all day long. We have another uh, service dog coach who's with us all, uh, most days all day long and between the two of them um, the kids just really uh, benefit enormously from from the time they spend with so them. sometimes it's sort of a, a way to teach some responsibility as well sometimes it's a reward to work with the dog absolutely too, right? yeah. the kids will do almost anything to, to be able to walk the dogs um, for some of our kids uh, they don't have an opportunity to have a dog in their home and Reggie gives them a chance to get used to what it's like to care for a dog. Um, but that, the piece that people talk about in that unconditional love, for children and young adults who are challenged in so many different arenas, uh, the dog really does offer that complete trust, that complete ability to bond, um, and really spend time without ever worrying about somebody judging you or you know thinking you may not be doing something right. So and you were telling me too that the uh, kind of the socialization process is improved by it too because people will come up and pet the dog Absolutely. and interact with the young So a child who may not typically yeah. reach out in a in a park to talk to someone else um, people tend to come up to the dogs when they're um, there and the kids have an opportunity to answer questions or to tell them even just simple things like the dog's name and <laughs> that they get to, to walk them or what they're doing. So that social piece is invaluable because it's not something a lot of our kids initiate and uh, we love the opportunity for people to come up and ask about the dog or what they're doing and um, yep. really just interact in ways that that we don't typically see well you do wonderful work at giant steps and I understand also you've got a big uh, fundraiser coming up soon you might want to tell us about we that we do we have yeah. our casino night coming up it's at the Hilton in Lyle on okay. May 3rd uh, if you go to our website www.mygiantsteps.org you can get all the details but it's gonna be a really fun night it's a great way to raise funds for the organization. Uh, we're always looking at opportunities to be able to provide services and unique things for our students and adults <laughs> to be able to participate in. Will Reggie be going? <laughs> uh, Reggie will not be there. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> it's, a, it's an evening for adults, but Got it. Uh, anytime they want to see him, they can come to Giant Steps the school. We're always there and we'd love to have people come visit, so don't hesitate. Bridget O'Connor, thanks so much. Good thanks to see so you much. again. Thanks so much. Appreciate being here. All right.